Welcome back to another video. So this video we're going to talk about drop shipping CBD. A lot of you have reached out to me telling me that you need some help when it comes to drop shipping. Some of you have asked questions about the right way to drop ship. And some of you have even bragged to me that you're making $50,000 a month drop shipping. But I want to tell you the risk that's involved with it so that way you're protected before you get started and not end up losing your money. So the first thing I want to go over is when you start any business, you have to have your ducks in a row. This is whether you have your EIN number, your LLC, or even your CPA um, plans ahead of time. So for example, now everything is required based on the regulations. You have to have a LLC or at least a DBA saying that you own this brand or this product when you end up um, a plan for merchant accounts in any business that they're asking you hey do you have any legal paper or showing that this business is your name so that's the very first thing when it comes to um, drop shipping that most of you are not doing and this will come back and bite you let's say a year from now two years from now once the IRS decides that hey I need to audit your business so you really want to know who it is running this drop shipping we did some research to make sure that the companies that we've seen that drop shipping is um, done the, the correct way. And the overall theme that we've noticed is a lot of the, um, the brands that um, are doing the drop shipping, we have no idea who they are. You don't know who the owners are. You don't know um, where they come from. Is it somebody in um, at home that built a website for you and then they connect you to a broker who sends out your products? So you have no idea um, where that person is, who they are, and at the end of the day, you need to make sure that you protect your brand. You also want to think about quality control. Um, as somebody you know who runs my own business, I want to make sure I'm part of the process when it comes to the control of the business. So if you're going to sell a CBD product, you need to know where it's sourced from, you know, the lab reports, you have to check um, to make sure that there's nothing going on in the business that's going to affect you as a brand. If you're selling your product online, social media, and you have no idea if that product is really good or the quality is there or if it's watered down, then you're selling a product that you're risking um, all the, you're putting all the risk, you know, in yourself by not doing your due diligence to figure out who that person is. Because a lot of times too, from what we've seen, you just apply online, you pay X amount of dollars a month, or um, a one-time fee plus another you know, 2%, but you have no idea where that product is being um, processed from. Now, the one of the things that you wanna talk think about is labeling. Um, are you gonna be making labels yourself? Or is the company gonna make labels for you? If the company making labels for you, do you have part um, of the, do you have a say in the labels? Because states like Indiana and Florida are not requiring special labels. You have to have your batch ID on there, the website ID, who manufactures it, the product, um, the amount of dosage in there. So you really want to know um, the company that you're working with. <sighs> because at the end of the day, um, from my perspective, you do not want to um, get fined by a state if your product being sold and with more and more states um, creating their own regulations, it's going to be very tough uh, market to, um, to succeed in. So you want to make sure that you're doing things um, the right way. Now, one thing most of us don't think about when it comes to products is insurance. I ran into this at our B-Plan event. There are insurance companies who will not um, give you insurance for events because if you're at a selling CBD or you even give them a gift bag. So this same thing applies to you on your brand. If you're asking for insurance and the company says, hey, I will need to see some kind of facility. Where are you uh, running your company out of? Who's who in the business? Um, who's making your product? Can you, tr do you have any traceability? Is there any um, quality control? These are the things that if you can't answer, you will not get insurance, which leads in turn 
you end up being liable if somebody gets sick from your product. Well, so one of the things we want to also talk about is drop shipping is like an MLL company. You have no idea who's um, controlling these businesses. Your name is on there. And when it comes to MLMs, you have no control. The, the company just sends a bottle to wherever um, that it's been told to send and you're not being part of the process. So anything happens um, to that person or to the product, you're the one that's liable because it's your name on the on the um, the brand, your name on the product. So you really want to be careful when it comes to um, dropshipping CBD. So one of the things that's important when it comes to any business is having um, standard operating procedures. So is there a recall plan? Um, is that dropshipper having any CGMP procedures done? Is there any paperwork to show that they're doing things in the right manner? Um, so that way anything happens along the process, you are not liable for what's happening. So it's very risky when it comes to drop shipping. And as most of you who know me know that I'd I rather be blunt with you and be open that these are some of the things that a lot of you don't think about is the procedures when it comes to what's going on behind the scenes. It's, it's, it's a very intense procedure um, that you should be up on, you should read up on what goes on behind the business so that way you can be safe and not end up losing money. So for me, the biggest thing is sourcing. Where does that dropshipper sourcing the product from? Is it some facility that has been storing CBD products for months and months? Um, is the product in a black bottle or a white bottle? Is the product from a third broker buying product from somebody else? Is that product having contaminations? By not being a part of the process, you are opening up yourself up to lawsuits and just fines and other things that is preventable. So you have to be very careful knowing where you, the, the source and come from. And this again, like I just said, Florida, Indiana, other states are requiring you to have on your labels who the manufacturer is, where your sourcing comes from. On your website, you need to have information so that way if anything happens, the government can say, we know who to reach. Also, how can you guarantee what's in the product? Is it full spectrum, broad spectrum, isolate? As a drop shipper, you do not have any control over what's in the bottle. Yes, they may say it's a thousand milligrams of full spectrum, but you do not know because you didn't physically get the products yourself to get it tested. Are you having um, a process to ensure that it is what it says it is? Because a lot of times now, as you see in the news, what companies say they're selling is not what's on the um, inside the product. So you want to make sure that you're doing things the right way. And then um, let's talk about third party lab testing. It's required now by Florida to have your name on that lab. If the lab says dropshipper company and it's not your name, that's a red flag to the state. You're going to get fined. You're going to get shut down. You have to have everything in a way that you can be um, accountable and you know what's going on. By not having your name on a lab report shows that you're not testing the end product. You're relying on somebody else to tell you this is what it is. But at the end of the day, you're the face of the company. And then um, it's not really your business. You know what I'm saying? It's not you. It's somebody else that drops shipping for you. You just put your name on a website and selling it. So how can you think the long term how to grow that business when it's not yours? Um, if I'm growing my own business like I'm doing right now, I want to be a part of it. I want to know, make sure that every duck is in a row. Any mistakes that happen, which will eventually come up, that I'm able to be a part of the process of fixing it. Because failure is high and that's just part of doing a business. So you want to make sure that your brand that you're building is something that you can be proud of. You want to make sure that everything is in your name and not rely on somebody else taking care of it for you. And then lastly, don't feel like what I said is scary because it is, but my recommendation to you is always work with a small business that's already established. Look for a small brand that you, 
you can relate to, somebody you can reach and talk to. There's a lot of small businesses out here who need the help the most. So instead of you spending all your time and resources into starting your own business that more than likely will fail, because one in a hundred of you will fail, and this is just facts, um, why not partner with somebody? Like say, hey, um, XYZ company, I see that you're selling CBD. Can I help you grow? What do you need? Um, I, I want to get in this business and I would love to help you be established. Maybe create a plan that says if I can help you do this amount of um, work, this amount of sales within a year or two, I'll be able to at least get a percentage of the company or be you know, a sales manager. There's, there's ways to get in the business and to bring an income for yourself without starting your own business. Like I said again, just like any industry, it's a high failure rate. So please, please, please um, take the time to do your own research. Um, don't take my word for it. Always do your own research. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us at our website at www.cbahow. Ah, I wish you all the best. And um, until the next video, please, please, please uh, remember to take your CBD. And remember, knowledge is power. Have a beautiful day. Love you all. Peace. There are those that said your pain isn't real. Too slow. Too hard. Too soft. Too old. Too limited. To them, we say too bad. Everyone deserves good and clean CBD products.